you're 50% through with the project and it shows that you've only done 30% of your submittals, well, what are we putting in the building then? That's where I think most districts probably don't get what they pay for. I think it's about creating efficiencies. It's using the data to make better decisions and ultimately be able to make, uh, you know, have better outcomes for the entire project team. And like you said, it's not about gotchas, but a lot of times districts don't know you have um, problems, you know, small problems become big problems. And if you don't have that visibility and the ability to look in that transparency and accountability that is outside of the district's purview, because you don't own the software or the data, that can be a problem. I think you you said I just wrote down one word and then you said it. You know we're, we think a lot accountability um, is yeah. what the software provides. And, and I'm going to give a couple examples. We all said we make mistakes, but the good thing is I'll take for instance the review of submittals. When a general contractor puts the submittal in, they put a date that they need that information by. But as soon as they log that in there, it starts the clock on how long the architect has had it. Yep. And so, you know, all of us usually have a pretty similar contracts with architects and, and, you know, they're supposed to review things in a certain amount of time. Yeah. I think my contract takes 10 days. And, and so if I look on the submittal log and it shows me that there are submittals that have been sitting out there for 15, 20 days. Well, the yeah. first thing I do is I pick up the phone and I call the architect and I say, hey, what's going on? Do we have a problem? You just have to recognize that could be a problem. Yep. Is there a reason that this one is taking so long to get approved? What's wrong with it? Yep. And so that log right there and that alert that you get um, is immediate and that helps with the project. And what I would say is that it helps you get the pro project finished quicker, yep. honestly. So that accountability in there is very important. Another thing that you, you have on this, and, and I'm, I'm probably guilty of not using, I use a lot of the software and I use a lot of aspects of it, but there's probably portions of it that I'm not as good at, you know, myself, but there's portions that some of my other people are better at. Yeah. And, you know, one thing you can pull up your task and it'll mm -hmm. show you what you have to do right now. Yep. Uh, and that's another good aspect of it is that it kind of helps you manage the project, you know? Um, submittal logs to me, those are things that are going to impact the project. If you look, you're 50% through with the project and it shows that you've only done 30% of your submittals. Well, what are we putting in the building then? Because yeah. they shouldn't be putting in things that are not act the right things. And if you're not looking at it to make sure it is, that's where I think most districts probably don't get what they pay for. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah, or, you know, the, the things that happen you know, end up having to be rework and that costs Absolutely. money way above, you know, what you have budgeted for that particular project. Uh, you, we, I, my kids, they get on me all the time at my house so that I, <laughs> I say, if you do it wrong, you get to do it long. You know, and so that's the statement that they've always thrown at me if I ever do something wrong. And uh, I do it all the time. Uh, but I throw that out at a job site. Yeah. You do it wrong. You get to do it long. You know, yes, for years, in Frisco, we would walk out on a job site and we were very adamant that we wanted it done for the drawings because there was a reason that the drawing showed it that way. Sure, We yeah. built a lot of buildings. We did things wrong. We did things that made it harder on us to maintain the building. We figured them out. We fixed them. And so we'd go out there and we'd look at something and, I, and you'd say, oh, that, that's not accurate. That's not right. right. And always, I mean, I remember subs they would say, well, that's the way we always do it. And I'm like, I understand. You may always do it that way, but that's not, not the way my way. document showed her to do it. Yep. Yeah. So when we talk about a taxpayer, those little things right there are what we talk about managing and being good stewards of money. Um, if we say that the wall goes all the way to deck um, and it's taped and bedded on everywhere, then when we look above ceiling, then it should go to deck and it's taped and bedded. If it stops a foot short, well, you just look at the amount of money that you lost, number one. Yeah. But then look at the envelope. What did it do to the building? Well, oh, not much. Well, we probably lost a little bit of money in, in efficiencies over yeah. 75 years. Yeah. That's a, big, a lot that's of money. Kick, you know, yeah. so um, I think that that's where, you know, you have to, this, this software does you a great justice.